Hello people, in this video I would be showing you the procedure to create an IEEE account that is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers so for which let us Google IEEE first and the, once you Google the search results are out here then uh, first link which appears in the search results that is IEEE.org would be the website to which you have to go in order to register for IEEE then you can click on the tab which is found at the top right corner as join IEEE then uh, in case you are a professional then you can click on the join as a professional tab and proceed with the registration and in case you are a student then you can join uh, click on join as a student and again proceed with the registration in case you already have the student membership or in case you already have an account then you can click over here as add society membership and again proceed uh, with the process of process of adding the respective uh, membership of the societies now i'll be clicking on join as a student once i click on join as a student i would be navigated to this small dialog box wherein in case you already have an account then you can uh, enter your uh, login credentials and click on sign in otherwise create an account so I would be giving my last name and the first name and uh, middle name is not mandatory field however. So I would be entering my uh, email address as well as a password. then i would be clicking on i have read and accepted all the IEEE privacy policies in case you're interested you can read it as well then click on create account and continue joining and uh, your membership application would be created so there would be a series of uh, questions So your address type you can give so in case uh, you can you can give your residential address and uh, your organization or the department name you can enter uh, the name of your college uh, say for example it can be Sai Vidya Institute of Technology then uh, you can give your residential address over here for example door number 12 second floor 9th main and 7th stage Jainagar and Bangalore and uh, you can give your city name over here so state is Karnataka and 560084 I'll give a random pin code and uh, let me give a random date of birth as well okay so somewhere over here yeah you can select and uh, the necessary numbers would be given then click on save so once your basic details are done then here there are two radio buttons wherein which one reads as I am a professional then the other is other reads as I am a student studying at least part time so in case you are a professional then you have to select this otherwise this so momentarily let me select I am a student in case you are a student it asks about the details of your institution uh, so then 
this is the list of institutions so i would be selecting sai vidyan institute of technology and uh, i'm an undergrad there so the student status would be undergrad the degree being pursued is btech that is bachelor of engineering and the academic program would be since i currently belong to electronics and communication department you can scroll down till you find it yes so done once you're done with it then you need to select a graduation year so which i would be doing it okay then what is your current field of study i would be giving it as engineering and is your university or college accredited it depends on whether your in university or college is accredited or not and based on which you would be selecting the whether your college is accredited or not okay so yes or no depends on your college and what technology area are you interested in again depend on depends on your own interest so i'm in i'm uh, interested in computing and processing so i would be clicking on it in case your interest varies then select the uh, options accordingly then click on save so once you're done with it then now it's time for you to select the societies which you would wish okay so the societies which i would like to join are where i wish to join photonics any other society which fascinates you can also be selected so here it also mentions the um, membership fees which needs and also the benefits which you get once you are a member of the ieee photonics society or any society for that matter and you can go through whatever is given over here it speaks about the society and also the benefits you would be uh, availing once you have uh, availed the membership of a respective society you can click on add selected item and once you click on the add selected item you can see over here on the right top corner the respective societies get added the ieee membership that is student membership which is by default it would be added once uh, you create an account or once you uh, opt the membership and then followed by any any number of societies you can opt here and i also wish to join engineering and medicine and biology and then i can click on add selected items add selected items and then once you have clicked on add selected items here uh, you can see the list of societies which you have opted would be appearing over here and the respective uh, fees in terms of dollars would be appearing also and the subtotal would be $21 for uh, student membership photonic society membership as well as the EMBS membership that is engineering and medicine and biology society so in case uh, you have added any of the society is by mistake then you also have a remove option over here using which you can remove the respective uh, society membership from the shopping cart so these are some of the benefits which you would be getting once you have uh, availed the membership of the respective uh, societies and here is a question for you that is do you want to be included in the member directories you can click yes or no in case you have got any doubt you want to read on it you want to help then you can click on it so this is what it is all about okay so now and the last and the final question which asks which is it which it is asking is so why are you joining IEEE a very valid question because anything and everything you do you need to know why are you doing it so therefore uh, valid question to answer so i wish i have to remain technically current and obtain ieee subscriptions and expand my professional network connect me with the local ieee activities learn more about ieee humanitarian programs and this is why i feel i am here so it ieee wants to know how i heard about it and uh, I got to know through my college professor 
So last question which it wants me to answer is were you referred by another IEEE member? Yes, I was referred by an IEEE member as well. So uh, you can enter the details, say the referring member name and also the referring IEEE members number which they would have received uh, once uh, when they have opted the membership. It is however not mandatory but in case you have it then in case you are referred by an IEEE member then it is always right to make a mention of it. So that would be a mark of gratitude for bringing you onto the track and once you are done with it click on proceed to checkout then you would be navigated onto the payment page wherein your cart items would be displayed and along with that you have something called as promotion code and in case you wish to donate to IEEE then even that can be done over here then your shipping address and uh, here most importantly what you can observe is the payment options being you can pay by credit card you can pay by paypal you can pay by chalin and also there is a printable order version and uh, anyways before you do those uh, you will have to agree to all the terms and conditions of IEEE you can go through this and uh, you can click on agree then in case you wish to pay through credit card then you can click on pay by credit card and then uh, you would be asked through a series of uh, payment details and credit that is the credit card details along with that again the address which would be automatically entered so you can enter all these details say the card type can be visa or a mastercard or kind of things and a credit card number expiry date security code name of the card description and then you can continue for checkout which would be which would navigate you to the respective uh, page and then followed by and and then followed by the payment would be done and once the payment would be done immediately your IEEE membership ID would be generated for you in case you are paying through a credit card and pay by PayPal again a PayPal is a popular method which again uh, is a very good um, very convenient method to pay through and uh, pay by Chalan is another method in case you have lot of time and uh, you're free enough to go to a bank and pay through Chalin here you can enter your mobile number say for example I would be entering a dummy mobile number and you need to click on this and you just read all those and uh, click on it and then you can close and you can Okay. Yeah. So you can click on save and print challenge. So your challenge would be looking somewhat like this. Yeah. So this is how your challenge would be looking, uh, looking where even where uh, you would be uh, having your name over here and the registration fees would be automatically printed and this can vary based on the societies you opt and the fees which is there for that particular society and this is a mobile number which I entered this is my mail id and uh, so this is how the IEEE NEFT uh, challenge would be looking so yeah so this belongs to a corporation bank uh, Chalin and you can go to any corporation bank any branch and you can pay the fees and the fees would be 1390 for me because I have opted the respective societies and my sum of the total fees would be 1390 it varies from one it varies from one society to another so everything depends on the societies you opt as well and also the dollar rate at that particular instant So once you are done with all the registrations, your cart would be clear. That is, in case you are doing the registration through the IEEE challenge method, then the once the amount has been paid within six to seven hours, the membership ID would be obtained to you. And 
that is how you would be doing the registration of the IEEE. So I hope you have liked the video and I hope it was informative. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you haven't subscribed for the channel, please subscribe it now. And there is a like button through which you can show your interest. Thank you, Wendong.